Hey everybody, so in this video, this is part four of the series of Aruba TAC Axe Plus, Aruba ClearPass uh, TAC Axe Plus configuration with Cisco devices. Um, one thing I wanted to show you just in local users, because we're using in the service, if you see this, Vios 15.2, we're using the local user repository. So if we go to local users, there's one local user, TAC Axe. We can create another one if we want. Um, so this is the role, the role is assigned TACAX super admin. If this was not super admin, it would not match the enforcement policy, which was created here. It has to match TACAX super admin. If it didn't, this wouldn't match and it wouldn't allow the user in. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the iOS and configure this part on the switch. Okay. So let's begin this. So we're going to do triple A. We're going to go into config mode. Triple A new model. We should have, we should actually create a, a local user here. Username, I'll create a local user called, uh, let's call it switch 20 password. Oh, that's not right. It should be the user. That's interesting. Um, switch 20, password, zero, Cisco, one, two, three. We'll just do that. Okay, so now we have a local user on here. And what we're going to do is AAA authentication. Well, let's create the group. So AAA group server tack axe plus and we'll call this and this will just be a name right so the group will be called clear pass server is going to be 10.155.20 so that's the actual clear pass server should make sure we can ping that just so we have connectivity and we're not let's let's do that do ping 10 150.5.20 okay we do have connectivity that's good all right so what else do we have to configure here we should configure So we got the server. Server 10, 150, 5.20. Okay, let me just see. Where are we defining the key for that? Let me just check. Okay, that looks fine. Okay, fine. Because we have to, we have a shared shared secret, right, between the clear pass that we defined in the device down here in devices. We gave this a password, right? Shared secret. Cisco one two three. So we have to define it here. I'm just not seeing where we define that. So I might have to look that up. All right. Actually, let me look on the other. So I still have this other one. I have the configuration for the current one. Let's see if we can find it in there.
triple a new model server yep looks good that's for radius That's also radius. Ah, here it is. Attack X server. Okay, so let's let's do that. Let's configure that right now. Exit out of here. Attack X server host 10.150.5.20. Timeout 5 key. Cisco one, two, three. That's what we did. Okay, so that's just saying this is going to be deprecated soon. Please move to TACAX server name, which I think is TACAX server. And then we can define the key in there. So key Cisco one, two, three. We can also define the timeout. Timeout five. Yeah, I think that's all we want to do. Let's let's see how that looks. Warning address not yet configured. Okay. Um, oh, I see. Right. Address 10.155.20. That's not how it wants it. Let's see how it does want it. IPv4. Double check. 10.155.20. Exit. So it's still giving me that. Let's see how this looks. Go run. Do show run. Let's look at this. Group server, server. So I probably want to add it to this group server. Once we get this set up, let's see what it looks like in the config. So TACAC server 10. So maybe I need to remove this. Okay, let's let's remove this. So we'll do a no. Okay, so let's go back in there. Just TACAC server. Let's do this again. Address IPv4 Timeout, I think we said five, exit, address not yet configured. So I'm not going to do this right now. So no TACAC server 10.155.20. Let's get rid of that. And let's just go back and we'll just add the other one, even though it's deprecated. But normally you should be able to just create TACAC server. There we go. Okay, fine. Good. Deprecate it. Don't care. All right. Uh, let's do a copy, run, start. Okay, and one thing you have to be careful about is you don't want to lock yourself out of your switch. 
So you got to be you got to be pretty careful about this here with when you're enabling AAA. So just be aware of that. So login, default, group, and it's going to be clear pass. So that's what we called our group. And then secondary, local. So if clear pass is completely down, it will go to the local authentication. But clear pass has to be completely offline. Can't just be, you know, it can't still be pingable or st still connectable in any way. So you, you can probably, you could take down the connection to it or something like that if you need it to get in back into your system. So I'm going to do AA authentication. Login. So I'm going to just make the console login console local. So I just want the console login to be local. I'm going to now authentication the enable default group. So this is the enable login, right? The enable password. It's also going to be going through AAA. So this is group, again, clear pass. Enable. Um, okay, so AAA authorization. Config commands. AAA authorization. Exec default group clear pass and local AAA authorization commands zero default group let's make sure we spell this right clear pass none AAA authorization commands 15 default group clear pass. If authenticated, so that should give us 15. Let's do AAA accounting. Commands 15, default, start, stop, group, clear, pass, AAA accounting, Let's spell accounting right, accounting, connection, default, Start, stop, group, clear pass. Okay, so let, let's just, let's go back to the privilege command, show run, include AAA. That's going to show us what we have. Group server, clear pass, authentication, authorization, and accounting. That looks pretty good. Let's take a look over here. Make sure we have everything we need here. So we've got that, got the server. All right, so that should be it. I think that's all we need. Let's do a copy, run, start save this. So now what we're going to do is go over here to this. Well, actually we're on here right now. So 
So the only thing right now that's enabled is the local database. We can enable the, uh, the Active Directory next, but for right now, let's take a look at this. Let's, let's try this. SSH, SSH, the username of the local is TACAX, because that's, that's the local user. Let's just double check that. I'll show you right where that is. So that's in the local users. There it is, TACAX. Password is test123. So 192. 168 7.2. So let's see if this comes up. And we're in. We're in the switch. Enable. And we're enabled. And we're showing the run. So let's let's show some stuff on here. There it is. Clear pass. Show IP interface brief. So there you can see that we are on this switch, 7.2. Okay, so let's go back to the ClearPass Policy Manager. Let's go to Monitoring, Access Tracker. And let's see, there you can see it. There's the connection right here. So the two TACAX connections, one for the initial VTY and then the second one for the enable. So let's look at that. So here we can see authentication status pass, request from coming from 10 .10. So that's my that's my Docker right there. That's where that address is coming from. Look at the attributes. Tac acts from the local user repository. Policies, Cisco VIOS 15.2, local user rep repository, the role, user authenticated, and TACAC super admin. And the profile given is that Cisco Priv 15, authorizations, enable, shell exec, pass. So that's pretty good. Let's look at this other one. Request, same thing, everything's looking good. So now that is how we set up TACAX with a iOS or a VIOS uh, router switch, switch or router. And there you can see show running config, pass. So we should be able to also see authorizations. Let's look in accounting, see if we see anything in there. So here's the accounting. Show running config. So that's that's pretty nice. Uh, does it show? Let's see if it shows anything else. Show IP interface brief. I don't see that one. I don't know why that one doesn't show up. Show. Let's go into conf mode. Let's just see what, see if anything comes in. Access tracker, accounting. Oh, here we go. Configure terminal. There, configure terminal also showed up. Show running config, config terminal. So it get, keeps a record of everything that's been done on the switch. So th that's why you want to have it. You want to have the history, be able to use that data. All right. So I think that's good for this video. In the next video, what we'll do is we'll add AD authentication to this just because we can. And then we'll get into the Nexus switch. And we'll also do some ASA setup for TACX. All right. Thank you for watching.